Welcome to 84. In this session, we are going to see about exclusive locks in SQL Server. Exclusive locks prevent access to a resource by concurrent transactions. With an exclusive lock, no other transactions can modify the data. The repeatable read or higher isolation level transactions only can not read that locked data and rest of the levels can read and no lock hints can read this data. So exclusive locks are lock the data and prevent the access from the other transactions. So no other transactions can modify the data and repeatable read and higher isolation levels cannot read only the read uncommitted and read committed and load lock hints can read this data lock data so the exclusive locks there is no compatibility between this and other locks so let us check with the simplest example for this so this is a transaction one using with read committed isolation levels I'm just going to update with update student set student id is equal to 5 where student id is equal to 5 for a simple updation so just execute this statement just to check with the active logs so there is exclusive logs active for this session so one is for row id for that row id and one is for intent exclusive that is for lock hierarchy page so in another transaction going to update with the same criteria with the same table just read committed isolation level and the update student so now check with active locks so for the first session exclusive locks occurred and the second session update locks occurred so we check with the purpose for update lock it prevents a date lock conversion so it does not contain as a exclusive so just it's hold on the with update lock for the second session due to the first exclusive because exclusive logs incompatibility between the other logs any other logs so it holds a update log for wait status so just roll back or commit the first transaction then the second transaction is converted to exclusive logs so the second transaction converted to the exclusive logs now we can roll back and commit the transactions so there is no transactions ah, lock there is no lock on this session so just update statements with a read committed and we cannot read that locked data with repeatable read and higher isolation levels snapshot are serializable so just we can read with read committed and read uncommitted so see there is data locked for the student with the row id 5 student id 5 just within the read committed just select statement the criteria of student 5 so it fetches the data and read uncommitted also fetches the data but repeatable read wait for the result set because repeatable read select statement will hold the shared logs so it will wait for the exclusive log released so 
for the exclusive blocks the data no other transactions cannot modify the data first and can read only for read committed and read uncommitted isolation levels and we can use no lock hints to read data read exclusive locked data so these are the exclusive locks so it prevent the access to the resource by concurrent transaction so prevent access for the other transactions so these are the exclusive locks next case server hope this topic will be very useful to you if you like this sessions please like and subscribe to get more videos thank you friends